Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy Sunday, woo! So I'm gonna apologize in advance if you can hear the air conditioner. It's really loud and I'm sorry, and it's really, cause it's just really hot in my studio right now. And the air conditioner has actually been really finicky. Like sometimes it'll stop working. Like it'll still blow air, but it won't be cold air. So it'll be really hot and yeah, it's just bad. So I'm keeping it on right now cause it's working and I could really, use, it's really hot and so. Yeah, okay. Anyway, onward to the illustration, woo. So this is a more abstract watercolor illustration. Um, as you can see, I got a picture of a violin off the internet. And don't worry, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about tracing that much because this is just, I just need the outline of it. So I tried using the masking fluid at first and I'm like, screw this. Cause I spent like half an hour trying to clean it out and it didn't, like it didn't the needle part doesn't work anymore and I'm like why I need the fine line so I'm like yeah just just forget it I'm just gonna draw with pencil and just paint paint around everything like you know like you're supposed to do right so yeah I could have just taken a picture of my violin and did the same but I just really needed an outline because it's just easier to trace that way um but then again, the violin shape really doesn't change that much. Um, there are some variations between the types of violins, like Stradivarius versus an Amati violin or Steiner or whatever. They have slightly different curvatures and it's very subtle and you couldn't really tell unless you're really paying attention to it. So yeah, so I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be an abstract and it's going to be really, it's going to be edited so much anyway. So don't worry. I'm not worried too much about it. So yeah, and then I fixed the masking fluid parts already too at the end, but you'll see that. So yeah, so I'm drawing a violin because I play violin or painting a violin because I paint, I paint violin, I play violin and it's my favorite instrument and it's the one that I know how to play really well compared to other instruments I know how to play. So yeah, it's also my major instrument because I'm going, when um, I'm going back to school in August Next month, oh my gosh, it's so close. I'm going back to school to study music, to get my degree in music. So then I'm gonna have two degrees. I'm debating on getting another, getting a degree in also mass communications. And then I'll have three degrees, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Cause I wanna learn more about mass communications cause it's what I do with YouTube and social media and everything. So I think that'd be interesting to get a degree in that. But for now we'll go with music because it's something I really like. I really like art too. I like both. I actually started out as a music major and then I stopped being a music major. Then I went to an art major because I really just wanted a good degree and art was easy at the time. And so that's kind of what happened. And, but now I'm gonna go back and finish my music degree because I want to and it'd be nice. And I just wanna learn more about the violin and I think if I get better then I can have like a job like playing in an orchestra or something. I don't know. I don't want to be a soloist. I kind of want to just be, just blend in like with an orchestra or a small ensemble or something. And I just want to work towards that. I think that's more achievable than being like a famous soloist, which I pretty much doubt I can be. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, Another thing that's going on now, if you guys don't know, I'm having a giveaway if you've seen my last video. If you guys are new and came here from the giveaway, welcome. This is kind of like what I do, just some videos. But um, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm having a giveaway where I'm giving away a bunch of back to school supplies and I'm celebrating 1,000 subscribers, so that's why I'm doing this giveaway. And you can check that out. I'll leave a link to the description, leave a link to the um, giveaway video in the description so you guys can go and check that out and see what that's about. Maybe you guys can enter. I actually had someone, this is bad, but I had someone use multiple email, email addresses to enter the giveaway. And like they use the same name, the same like Twitter account and same IP address that was used to enter the giveaway. And I'm like, okay, you're cheating. So I, they, I had to disqualify them from that because it's not fair. They entered over a hundred times. And it's a small pool of entries because I'm not that popular yet. And so it's like, that's not fair to everyone else who's out there who really wants to win. And it just, 
I know, it's really bad, so I just deleted them from the entries, so that's you, I'm sorry, but you can't do that kind of stuff. That's really mean and not fair to other people who, like, really want it to. I've also get it, been getting a lot of, like, messages and comments about saying, like, I really deserve this, and I really want this, and I get it, and I, get, I like, people really want to win all the time. I get it. It's not, I don't know. It's like, I understand where they're coming from, but I can't justify having one person win because they're situation is a lot worse because other people have bad situations too everyone has their own grief and hard times so if I, I'm getting like multiple people doing that and so it's just I don't know for me it's getting really depressing I'm like I'm not sure I want to do giveaways after this but I might and have my staff I have a team of people who help me out and they just they they help manage my Facebook page and they help manage um emails and I'm going to have next, I'm going to try to get them to help manage the giveaway a little bit so that those influx of emails and messages can get filtered somehow. So that's there. Um, yeah, but anyway, back to the violin. I really like this. I really love the splatters and the colors. It's kind of like, I don't know, whenever I do this, I'm like thinking of all the possibilities the violin can do, like all the music you can play and just the amazing experience of playing the instrument. My experience, anyway. That's just how I feel about it. And I love it. I love playing violin. I'm also a professional street performer. Well, I guess I can say professional. I make most of my income from street performing. So yeah, professional street performer. I have a license and everything. And I street perform at the Pueblo Riverwalk, usually Fridays and Saturdays, because that's when the most people are out. Which means tonight's Tonight is Saturday, which means I'm street performing tonight. Woo. And you guys won't know. Um, I like playing pop music when I'm street performing or musical stuff. I've been really obsessed with Les Miserables lately, and I've been playing that for my street performing stuff. I am not doing anything. I think I'm, like, on the computer right now. <laughs> so sorry for the long pause. I do that. I'll forget to click like the record button to make it stop and then I'll go do something and wait for it to stop on its own so I'm probably gonna cut this out a little bit okay I cut it a little bit so yeah just adding more splatters and prettiness and I wanted to add some black to just to darken it and add some more because black is a color that's in the violin why not um, and just add more stuff to it I really like this piece I think it can stand on its own as a art piece I think I'll, I'm gonna frame it and probably sell it in my studio be like the second violin piece I have up here but that's all right um yeah oh some other another thing I was thinking of doing a I don't know what you guys think but I was thinking of doing a Q&A video where I answer some of your guys's questions you ask questions I answer them that sort of thing my only worry is I don't have a big enough audience for it yet so I don't know if I want to wait on that or if I get enough questions. But then again, if I don't have a big enough audience, I can spend more time answering your questions. So it's kind of a weird equilibrium in finding that balance. Because um, I'm starting to get more people commenting and more a uh, larger audience. And it's harder to keep up and harder to comment. So that's why I have, that's why I got some people to help me. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm... Um, thinking of doing a Q&A video, um, let me know what you think or if you have questions that you'd like me to answer and I'll compile them and I'll ask this again in future videos. So if you guys have any questions you'd like me to answer, let me know. I think that'd be fun. Um, you can ask them in the comments on my Twitter, Facebook page, all of that and I will do my best to compile a list and make a nice video for you guys. So yeah, but anyway, I really like this piece. Oh yeah, drawing the strings. This part like made me cringe a little bit because I didn't line them up properly and I don't think they're like right. I'm pretty sure they're not right. And I'm gonna have like some violin or illustration purist being like, no, it's wrong. You fail at illustration. I'm like, oh well. At least it has four strings. I mean, I've seen illustrations of like string instruments with more than four strings. Like, I saw a violin with six strings one time, and I'm like, I didn't say anything, but it's because it's a good illustration. But that's just me. And I get the idea that they were trying to paint a violin. And that's really all that matters, right? 
or not. I don't know if some people prefer realistic stuff. But anyway, guys, um, this is pretty much the end of the video. Just adding some final touches. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to enter the giveaway if you haven't. The links in are in the description, all of that. And yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday. You guys are awesome. I love you. I really do. You guys are amazing. All right. Bye, guys.